We're going to use the photograph that we used in the previous video for this. The effect I'm talking about is an effect I've seen on the walls of a lot of my friends. They've gone off to professional photographers, they've had a photograph taken of their family, and the photographers have treated the photograph in a certain way so that it looks very stylized and it's very in at the moment. It's kind of a high key effect as we discussed in the previous tutorial, but also the colors are super saturated so it looks a little bit unreal and it's very flattering to a lot of people's faces. They've paid a lot of money for this thing. I want to show you how you can do it for free. Okay, here's my original photograph and this is what we're going to be aiming for. Okay, let's get started. Now that we're using more layers, it's important to get organized properly. So for this fixed folder, I'm going to rename it to B and W, standing for black and white. I need another folder underneath it, so I'll come to my original, make a new group, I'm going to call this one Saturate. Then I'm going to take the base file, duplicate it, I'm going to call this one blur and I'm going to put it into the saturate folder. Okay for now also I need to make my black and white layer invisible so I can see what I'm doing. Right, my blur layer. We're going to do what we did in video 21 getting the Hollywood skin effect come to filter blur Gaussian blur 25 pixels radius that's doing the job just fine and then I'm going to take the entire folder and make it overlay. There we go there's our saturated colors and now if I come to my black and white folder, I'm going to make this overlay because you can take entire folders and change their layer modes. Overlay. There you go. Now you've got a high key effect that's caused by the black and white folder, but also you've got that saturated color which you're getting from the saturate folder. Two overlay folders sitting on top of the original. It's also it's quite flexible for the black and white. Take the opacity down and dial into wherever you want. You might want it about there, 65 cent. What about the saturate folder as well? You can change the mode there. Soft light. Okay, that's getting a little bit more of the hair detail. How about hard light? You're getting, yeah, an effect you can use there as well. Now the others, here's the thing. You can just press the up or down arrow keys and you can just cycle through the layers to decide what you want. Vivid light. Well, that's really getting blown out. Let's try knocking that a little bit. But again, these super saturated colors, really intense. Let's come down to hue, put it back up to 100%. You're getting some more knocked back colors, but still just a little bit more. Well, still an interesting effect. Saturation, getting a little bit more detail in the shadows. Luminosity. Of these, let's go with soft light, overlay. Okay, soft light is going to give you a little bit more detail. Take a look at the jacket. Tiny little bit more not back, but just a little bit more detail in the shading. It's whatever you want. You have that flexibility with this. You could pay a photographer, what, $600, pounds, bucks, whatever works in your country. You could pay them a lot of money to do this, or you can just take one of your own photograph, use these techniques, and do it yourself. Okay, well, stop. Actually, while we're here, let's just push this just a little bit further. Now, if this was taken inside a studio, normally what they do, they take you against a white background. Now you can see in this case, it'd be a very easy case just to paint out those rocks in the background, but it's nice. The beach sets the context for this picture. It doesn't need to be a studio photograph. Let's up that a little bit. Let's make that just a little bit more pronounced. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it Grads, and I'm going to put a layer in there. Let's call this one C. And under here, I'm going to select my gradient tool. I'm going to click once and it brings it up. Now, I've knocked up a gradient here. I've got this color here, which is a blue color. It's going to be fairly intense. And then I've got to go through to a lighter blue color here. Or not back. And for the transparency, I've got 100% opaque here and it goes through to 100% transparent at the light blue end. So I've got an opaque dark blue going through to a transparent light blue. Click on OK. So then I come here, I'm going to drag something out at a right angle to where the line of the beach is. And there you go. And as before, I'm going to come to overlay. 
There you go. Now I'm getting a kind of a nice stylized blue background there. All right, we can take this a little bit further. Let's create another one here and call this sand. I'm going to come back to my gradient tool. I'm going to try and find for this one here. I'm going to try and find a dark brown, and I'll try and take it from the picture if I can. If at all possible, try and take existing colors from the picture. And this one is going to be a much lighter brown. And so I'm going to take my 100% opaque. I'm going to Alt and drag it out. So now I've got, although I've got the gradient going from dark brown to light brown, I've made it so that there's a little bit more opacity towards the darker end. Click on OK there. And we're in our sand layer. Take this and drag it the opposite direction. Then if I take that and make that overlay, it's more subtle, but I'm getting just a little bit of a more depth of color towards the bottom of the picture, which was looking a little bit too washed out. So there, there you have it. You can create this stylized effect that you see in studio photographs fairly easily, but it doesn't have to be a studio. It can be anywhere. It can be by the sea, like you can see here. It can be any one of your photographs, as long as you know the technique. Now you can get the kind of thing which you would pay hundreds of pounds, dollars, yen, buck. You can do it yourself using Photoshop. Even better, if your friend has a photograph of their family that they like, you can do it for them and charge them lots of money. Isn't Photoshop wonderful? Thanks for listening. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance along with me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.